More than two years, the 100 acre wood was known as a large homeless encampment near Davis Monthan Air Force Base. Today, after months of outreach and discussion with the base, the city of Tucson is clearing it out. 13 News reporter Andres Rendon is live at the site now. And Andres, what exactly is the area being clear cleared out? All right, well, Brooke and Dan, the root cause of the operation, it all comes down to PFAS. Those are the chemicals that make your jacket waterproof and your pants nonstick. Well, it turns out that Davis Monthan was actually using some materials with PFAS in it, and now it's Davis Monthan. They're the ones responsible for conducting PFAS testing in this exact area. The Department of Defense announced back in February that 30 sites across the country would be testing for PFAS near their facilities, including Davis Monthan. PFAS is suspected to have come from aqueous film forming foam or AFFF. That's the foam used to put out fires. The PFAS from the foam is suspected to have gone into the runoff water, which flows through the encampment site. In between these trees, there's a wash, yep. um, and that's really where they're trying to get that the, the soil samples. Okay. The area is broken up into three different zones, and the city focused on zone one in order for Davis Monthan to begin their testing quickly. But where PFAS may be located isn't the only reason the camp had to be cleared out. Because PFAS is in a lot of things, that when samples are being collected, that there's no interference in that sample collection process. PFAS is found in extremely small quantities, and Rogo says any risk of contamination needs to be avoided. There can't be anything in that area which includes every person that's in that area, what they're wearing that isn't PFAS free. 19 individual camps have been cleared out from Zone 1, and the city of Tucson's Housing First Office has been on site offering services all day, as they have done in the area for the past two years. We reached out to non governmental agencies, and we had them come out offering housing, shelter, detox if they wanted to, medical services. And if they move into zone two or zone three, that would be a temporary solution. We really are trying to push, hey, get connected to those housing services so we can best connect you to your next step and get you out of this environment. Right now, Davis Monthan is set to begin their PFAS testing once Zone 1 is cleared out and again in the summer. Now, the city of Tucson, once all that PFAS testing is complete, they're going to come back into this area to continue the renovations of the 100-acre bike park. Live near Golf Links in Columbus, Andres Rendon, 13 News.